Welcome back to KZTV English News. I'm Angel Kim. A ruling has been made that landowners of the land designated for the Yede Recreation Complex, a project that is currently abandoned, will have to bear the market margins in order to reclaim the land from JDC. Shin Byung-jik, a senior judge at the Jeju District Court, recently ruled in favor of the plaintiff in a lawsuit filed by a landowner against JDC for registration of ownership transfer. The judge also accepted the lawsuit that the defendant JDC filed against a landowner to increase the redemption amount and order that the landowner pay an additional 159 million won, which is the margin of increase of the land price. The original price was set at 99 million won, but has since increased to 253 million won. Meanwhile, the landowner has stated that they would file an appeal. The provincial office has confirmed 57 projects, which will be collectively called the 7th revision of the Jeju Special Law, and will submit them to Seoul. The revision draft includes the reimbursement of profit from local duty-free shops to communities. The province is tightened control over the JDC, Jeju Free International City Development Center, and the introduction of a direct election system for mayors. However, the future of the revision looks uncertain. Joseph Kim reports. The recently submitted draft for the seventh revision of the Jeju Special Law includes tools to tighten the province's control over the JDC, the Jeju Free International City Development Center, a mandatory audit of the JDC by the province's audit committee, the governor's right to nominate candidates for the JDC's CEO, who was appointed by Seoul, and consultation over the appointment with the governor are included in the revision draft. Tools to stop the outflow of profits made in local duty-free shops have also been devised. If the seventh revision draft is passed as it is, the JDC will be obliged to pay 5% of net profits made at its duty-free shops, and those funds will be used for farming and fishing communities. As a part of profit sharing with local communities, collection of 1% of sales of the nation's leading conglomerates duty-free shops, including Lotte and Shila for the Tourism Promotion Fund, is included in the seventh revision again. Strengthened control over the visa waiver program and the renewal of casino business licenses are also included in the draft for the revision. The province wants to reinforce the governor's right to temporarily suspend the visa waiver program when an emergency occurs, as we have witnessed chaos in the time of the COVID-19 pandemic and the surge of refugees. Mandatory prior permission for transferring ownership of a casino business license and for regular renewal of the license every seven years by the governor is also in the revision draft. The introduction of a direct election system for mayors that has failed to pass several times is notable. However, the future of the revision looks uncertain. Especially, suggested articles on the appointment of JDC's CEO and returning of profits of duty-free shops to local communities are expected to be faced with difficulties while persuading Seoul, as they are against fairness with other cities and provinces. Meanwhile, the introduction of a direct election system for mayors strongly suggested by the Provincial Council has been rejected by Seoul and the National Assembly. The future of the revision draft looks unclear. Joseph Kim, KCTV. Thank you for joining us today at KCTV English News. Please follow us on YouTube at KCTV E-News Jeju and on KCTV's VOD service. Take care.